Hey all, Hiva here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Sea of Conquest and this video here on 10 things I wish I knew before I start playing this game. <laughs> so uh, don't forget to subscribe. There should be quite a few important uh, bits in this video here that uh, you as a new player should know. Of course, the most important thing is do everything you possibly can in this game, even if you don't like it, because it will be beneficial. And uh, number one in this video here is do your missed incidents. Do all of them, even the ones you don't like. And uh, after you finish, make sure that you zoom in to the port, look at the little red flag and click the little treasure chest there. And you have to do this for all ports and uh, well flags on the map. And uh, yeah, it takes a while, but uh, it does add up to a lot if you do it, especially when it comes to uh, speeding up your compartment research. So make sure you do this and make sure you do all your uh, missed incidents. It's the easiest way to progress and it doesn't really require anything. So uh, the next thing I wish I knew from the beginning is that there is actually a way to keep attacking freighters even when you run out of uh, stamina. And a lot of people ask this and uh, yes, you can keep going if you have to. All you gotta do is do commissions. So find a commission that uh, you know asks you to sink armed freighters and uh, you will be able to still sink freighters and get adventure experience doing it. So uh, obviously if you're very close to a next level of uh, adventure experience, you can just uh, you know find commission somewhere, do that and uh, you'll be able to rack in the adventure XP although you've actually run out of stamina. So keep this in mind, it's very, very useful. Of course, you got to look around for the exact commissions that you want, or maybe just do all commissions. That would make sense because, like I said earlier, you have to do everything in this game here uh, if you want to progress quickly. And uh, there's really no way around it. So uh, even if you pay, you still have to put in some work in this game here. So uh, that is just a little tip here. If you run out of adventure experience and you just still want to, you know, take out those freighters, just do commissions and you will be able to do uh, more and get more adventure XP. All right, another thing it took me a little while to realize is that uh, the amount of some compartments that you have and also their level uh, determines your power and also has a bearing on other stuff that you can do in the game. One example is gun base. So uh, the more gun base you have and the higher level they are, the more powerful you are. So uh, it's not enough just to build one gun bay. Well, you can, but you're not gonna maximize your power. So uh, keep that in mind, right? The same thing goes for storage. The more storage compartments you have and the higher level they are, uh, the more cargo you will be able to uh, fill up in your ship, which is obviously very important when you're trading and also for supplies. And uh, just keep that in mind because uh, you, know, you run out of cargo space fairly quickly and uh, it takes a long time to trade. So, uh, you know, the more cargo you can carry, the better. And uh, also, uh, you know, shipbuilder study, make sure you uh, upgrade those as well. Have minimum two of them. And if you purchase the third one, that's a really good idea because you can then research three compartments at the same time. All right, so another thing I learned fairly quickly is do not underestimate recipes and cooking. I realized, yes, this is a pirate game. That's what I thought. And I was like, why would I spend time on, you know, mixing uh, ingredients and cooking and, you know, what am I going to do with this stuff? And uh, actually, it's really important. <laughs> so uh, you make a lot of money from your ingredients and uh, you also need to research ingredients to uh, progress in the game. And like I said a few times already in this video, you have to do everything you possibly can in this game here to uh, progress. Do everything and level everything as much as you can. So uh, recipes, after you discover them, you can cook food and that food you can then sell in your mess hall, making really easy gold this way here. So uh, this is super important. Do this every day, sell as much as you possibly can in your mess hall and uh, you'll just have you know the gold rolling in without actually having to do much. All you gotta do is go in, click the claim button, and uh, that's about it. So uh, the other aspect of recipes is that uh, they actually help you out in many ways. Every season event, for example, usually requires you to uh, actually achieve some points 
by uh, you know finding new recipes and uh, each season has new recipes and you can see you get 10 points per recipe so that's a very very easy way to uh, progress this event here so don't forget about that so the next one is a tip I've had on the channel a few times, but it's really important. And it took me up to, I believe, level 15 before I realized this, that you can actually command your ships separately. So uh, that way you can have two smaller ships uh, discovering and doing stuff and uh, your flagship could be safe in port or, you know, doing whatever else you needed to do. And uh, the way you do it is that you just drag the uh, ship icon on the right uh, hold and drag it into the map and uh, that's how you just uh, you know command the ships individually so uh, don't forget about this it's very very handy uh, in so many situations all right another thing uh, that I didn't realize for a while is that you can actually hide in port for longer than just the 30 minutes that you usually get the way you do it is uh, you look at the timer at the port and uh, if you click it you can purchase 8 hour or 24 hour stay permit. So uh, that you know allows you to be safe for much longer than 30 minutes, which is very useful when uh, you have, for example, a rival gang uh, you know, hunting you down and you just want to hide until the next day. So it is very, very useful. Do not forget about this. All right, so uh, power is everything in this game here. And something I didn't realize until recently is that uh, the heroes, even the heroes that you don't use on a ship, they still add up uh, in your power total. So that means that it does make sense to upgrade all heroes and uh, all their skills because it still adds to your power. So uh, even if you don't use a uh, hero, uh, upgrade them all. Uh, it does make sense. So for example, here, I'm just going to show you here with Eileen. Uh, so see, we're at 14 million 649. And I don't have Eileen equipped on any ship. She's just in here sitting and I don't really use her for anything. So we'll level her up just one level just to show you this. And you can see the power goes up. So uh, yes, we have risen about two and a half thousand in power. So uh, don't forget that, of course, upgrade the level, the heroes you're using first. But, uh, you know, don't forget the others. All right. So uh, the next thing you should remember or, you know, something that you will learn along the way is that uh, anything that you can possibly do in a group uh, you should do in a group or you should do it in your gang uh, if you can so for example you can of course sail around and kill sea monsters on your own and uh, you know take out a level 20 sea monster maybe but if you gather your gang and uh, you all work together you can take out sea monsters at much higher levels and you will get much much better rewards out of doing this and uh, this goes for everything in the game like i said anything you can do alone is okay but can you do it with other players uh, it's generally the better way to do it. This is a like focused multiplayer game after all. So uh, just uh, you know keep that in mind that you will get better rewards by doing stuff in a group. All right, so uh, the next thing I want to mention here is that uh, when I was doing trials the first time around, I was putting so much effort into getting three stars in every trial. And uh, if you've tried this, it does take a lot of time, effort and uh, swearing. So uh, the better approach is to just get through the trials with one star or two star, all of them. And uh, then when you reach the next season, you just come back to uh, the previous season, uh, <laughs> you know, trials and you just totally mop the floor with everyone. And it takes just two seconds per fight. So you're going to save a lot of time and grievance doing it this way. So uh, do not forget about this. All right, so uh, the last thing I wish I knew is that you should craft your ships. Uh, as soon as you get to season two, you can craft ships. So uh, these are much better than the ones you are given like for free or you can win in the game because uh, it allows you to hone the skills. And uh, that really means that you can, uh, you know, keep uh, crafting the ship until you get the skills you want. And you can even uh, manually try to uh, improve one of the skills. And of course, the ship itself will come in different uh, like flavors, epic, rare, and legendary. So you can even get a legendary version of something that would normally be an epic ship. So keep that in mind as well. So uh, these were my things I wish I knew before I started playing the game. If you have any others, please put them in the comments. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you out there.